Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am coming at you guys with another makeup video if you couldn't tell already by the title. A lot of you guys have been asking me to bring out some more makeup videos and I don't really understand why because we all know that your girl doesn't know crap about makeup and therefore I am not good at doing makeup. So I don't know why, but for some reason this is entertaining to you or interesting. So I decided to bring out another makeup video for you guys, but not just any makeup video. Since we are in the month of October and your girl is posting a lot of spooky Halloween related videos, I thought we'd bump this up and I'd bring out a Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys. Well, not tutorial, but creating, recreating a Halloween look basically. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay guys, so I actually went ahead and did my face and brows off camera because that does tend to take quite a while, especially doing my brows, which I'm actually really happy about. I'm really happy at how they came out, you know, for not being able to know how to correctly do my brows. I feel like I did a decent job today. I'm not upset with them. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, but let me go ahead and quickly tell you guys what I use to do my face for those of you that are interested. So for my foundation, I went ahead and used the Maybelline New York Fit Me foundation in the color 220 and it's this natural beige color. This is what it looks like and it's actually the one that Bebel tends to use on me whenever she wants to do my makeup. This is what she... <laughs> We're good, it didn't break. <laughs> But this is the foundation that Bebo likes to put on me. So there's that. I'm going to put it down now before I break something else. Okay, so moving on. But the next thing that I used for concealer was this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer in the number 365. It's called Cashew and this is how it looks. Not really sure if it would be considered my shade, but it looks like it, so I went ahead and used it. And also guys, quick shout out to my sister Debbie for letting me use her makeup products for today's video. You guys know I don't really have makeup products because I don't really do full faces of makeup, so I asked Debbie and she was totally fine with it, so everything that I'm going to be using today belongs to her. But moving on! So after the concealer, I went ahead and used this brow pomade from Lebec, which is a brown color. So went ahead and used that one for it. But now that our face is set, we're going to go ahead and get to the fun part, which is the eyeshadows and stuff. So let's get it. Okay, so let me pull up the picture. So this is actually what I'm going to be looking at while I create it. I also found this picture on Google. I don't know who the person is that this picture belongs to. There's a username on this picture, but it's not really clear. But um, shout out to you for the original concept, I guess. Um, but yeah, carry on. We're going to go ahead and do the makeup. Okay, so, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go ahead and use this orangey color to start off. I think it's called Creamsicle. I think that's how you read the palette. <laughs> but I'm going to use that orange and, you know, start it off. So, so I'm going to use this Morphe brush M332. Looks like this. It's kind of a fluffy brush in a way. I feel like fluffy brushes are good for blending. Um, so yeah, just gonna pack that and start blending my way through. I don't think we want to go too high, but she, hers looks pretty high. So I'm gonna try to do it as high as hers, um, but I feel like that's gonna be difficult, so. So now that we have the start of the eyelash eyeshadow, 
Um, we're going to go ahead and quickly add this color on our brow bone. And this is called Beam. Also part of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Same one I'm using. We're just going to go ahead and put that on the brow bone. And I don't think you want to put a lot. Like pack it because it is very pigmented. Um, so just dab it a little bit on your finger and just add that to your brow bone. Okay, I'm really liking how we're doing right now. <laughs> so now that we have the start of this look going, we are going to actually do a cut crease sort of thing. And this is actually going to be my second attempt at doing a cut crease for you guys because I'm not going to lie, I did try to attempt this look last night, but it completely failed. So we're going to try it again today. And despite how bad it turned out, I want to give myself props for the cut crease that I did because like I said it was my first time doing the cut crease and I don't think it came out that bad. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give myself some props for that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab some concealer so we can go ahead and make this cut crease happen. So I'm not going to use the direct brush from the concealer, I'm going to go ahead and grab a separate brush so I can go ahead and just make that as neat as possible okay so i'm not really sure what brush i'm technically supposed to use when it comes to creating the cut crease with the concealer so i'm going to use the same brush that i used to conceal my brows and it is the same morphe m326 brush it's kind of a small yet i want to say good choice of a brush that way you could just put it on flat enough i guess i don't know i feel like it's not going to be as messy so, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have the concealer on, we're going to go ahead and pack this yellow color from the Kat Von D Star Studded Palette. And it looks like it's the color Brass Knuckles, which is a very yellow pigmented color. So, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe M124 brush just to go ahead and pack it on. And this is what it looks like. Okay guys, so for this next step, we are going to be using some face paint. To create the candy corn look we're gonna start off with the white color and work our way down to form the candy corn and so I'll turn this way so you guys can see but we're basically creating a triangular shape to start out the candy corn and I got some on my eyebrow, but that's totally fine. We'll just fix it later, I guess. We're going to grab some more of that white, and we're just going to pack it on so it looks white enough. But before that, we're going to bring it down to create kind of like a pyramid effect. I'm like low-key holding my breath so I don't mess up but okay we have the top portion the white part set and we're gonna leave that and come back to that later to add more to it now we're gonna focus on the orange okay so now that we have made our orange paint we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we're gonna create the orange part of the candy corn look Okay guys, so that looks like a fat candy corn, whatever. So now that we have our orange paint on, I feel like we're kind of doing this thing. It's making me sort of excited. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the other side off camera just so we can be caught up. But now that we have the paint on both sides, we're going to go ahead and outline with the black eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and use my eyeliner so we can go ahead and 
outline everything. And it is the, obviously, the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Liner. Brian Little. Yeah. <laughs> Let that dry out real quick and then we're gonna go over it once again. But so far, so good. Not it's not horrible, but it's better than I thought it would be. Definitely better the second time. Don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and fix these lines because they're obviously pretty thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Okay guys, I am back. Sorry, it's been a little while, but I was trying to fix the candy corns, but obviously I didn't do a very good job. If anything, I'm just going to leave it like that and hope that everything else makes it look a little better. I will say I do prefer my left side over my right. You guys know I am not good at my right side doing anything that has to do with my right side, either with my face or with my right hand. So I'd like to say my left side came a little bit better than my right. But for now, we're just going to leave them alone and move forward with this look. <laughs> Because if we don't, then I'm going to be here forever and I'm going to get frustrated more than I already am. So, yeah, moving on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of our face. So I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm going to use the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I think I'm just going to go in with the middle color. I think it's called Shadow Play. I don't even know which brush I'm using, but right now I'm just trying to rush because my camera is dying. So... Okay, I think we're good on the contour. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go back with the Jaclyn Hill palette, grab that orange color and put some on my nose. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time because my camera likes to die very soon. So I'm gonna just circle this around. Yep, give ourselves an orange nose. Ta-da! Okay, so now that we have our orange nose, we're gonna grab the eyeliner once again and we're gonna create a little triangle shape. Okay, there's our somewhat triangle nose. Um, it's pretty small, but I don't really care right now because I'm trying to beat my camera which sucks but moving on to the lips we're gonna use that same eyeliner and we're gonna outline our lips and we're gonna create that jack-o-lantern mouth so Okay guys, so we are actually going to go ahead and finish off this video with my phone because my lovely, lovely camera decided to die and i um, currently charging it right now and it usually takes forever to freaking charge. So we're just going to do the rest of the video from my phone. So moving on, I already did the jack o lantern mouth and I have to fix it up because it's obviously a little bit messy just like the rest of my face, but it's all good. But we're gonna go ahead and go back to the eyes because I actually realized that while trying to fix these lines on the candy corns, I took off some of the eyeshadow. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back on. So we're gonna go back to the Jaclyn Hill palette and grab that same orange shade and just pack that color back on. I feel like I look like Joker, sort of, with the way this look is going. Which isn't a bad thing because his makeup isn't that crazy. I'm really upset with how these lines <laughs> came out. I tried to fix them so much, but I feel like I just made it worse. So I told myself, leave them alone, just focus on the rest of the face, and then we'll see how it turns out. So that's what's happening. But I'm like looking at myself right now and just thinking, I really need to get better with these eyeliners. Because for the life of me, I cannot draw a straight line with eyeliner without making some sort of curve. I also went ahead and used the jumbo eyeliner to put it on the waterline. Okay, so now that we are all caught up to speed, I'm just gonna fix up the nose a little more. All right, so now that we are good on the color, we're gonna go ahead and finish this face off. And I'm thinking I wanna put some lashes on to 
cover this madness. This is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. I'm guessing it's the same thing as lash glue, which is perfect. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put on these Dodo lashes and they look like this. I don't know. This is what Debbie has, so I'm going for it. Let it dry for a little bit. Gonna put them on. Okay, so now that we have our lashes on, we're gonna go ahead and put some more of that jumbo pencil on our waterline. So we can make our eyes pop. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like a total clown and I definitely look the part. We're gonna go ahead and add some mascara so we can combine both lashes together. See, I feel like the jack- okay, and I just messed up and added some- okay, whatever. We don't like that side anyway, but like I was saying, I feel like we made this look so much better with the Jack Leonard mouth added and the lashes, you know? This jumbo pencil is making my lashes look freaking weird, and I'm not okay with it, but it looks like we're gonna have to suffice, so now that- we have our face on. We're gonna go ahead and complete this look with some lipstick, or actually, we're gonna get some highlight going because as we all know, clowns are very, very bright. Not just personality-wise, but look-wise. I'm gonna go ahead and use this highlighter from Artist Couture. It's called the Diamond Glow Powder in Cocoa Bling. I can't really see it because my phone sucks at focusing, but it's like a nice highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our handy dandy fan brush. Drop that in there a little bit. Wow. That's gonna wrinkle. Whoa, you are bright. Okay, that's sure. Looks like that's what we're doing. We wanted bright and we definitely got it, so. How fun. Now that we got our highlight on, pretty sure I have more on this side, but we're not gonna, we don't want it to be that equal, okay? Moving on. Now that we have highlighter on, we're gonna go ahead and end this with our lips. I thought I had my black lipstick, but turns out Debbie still has it in her room. So to not bother her, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner on as my lipstick, so. Okay guys, I think that pretty much settles this look. Obviously, it isn't perfect and it's not the best, but I did try and I guess that's all that matters, at least for me, because I just, makeup and me don't go together, so the effort is what counts for me. <laughs> but here's the look. I want to go ahead and say that I think I did a decent job at recreating this candy corn clown look even though we look more clownish than candy corn clownish but it's all good um, because at the end of the day I feel like Halloween is you know supposed to be fun you don't really have to focus on being perfect or anything it's all about just being as creative as possible and having the time of your life while getting ready you know so with that we're gonna go ahead and end today's video right here so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed it despite how crazy of a ride it was for you guys watching and for me actually trying to get this all done and get it as precise as possible. Overall thoughts from afar, I think it looks pretty good. Obviously up close it's another story, but that's okay. I actually had some fun making this look. I feel this is actually the first Halloween look that I've actually attempted. I've never in all my years of being alive, all my years of going to high school and getting ready for Halloween, not once did I ever think to do this kind of makeup and go to school and get in the spirit i would always do something simple and i'll probably show you guys that in another video if you guys want me to um just go ahead comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to comment share and subscribe go ahead and comment your thoughts about this look how you guys think that i did with this look being my first time and all don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not so entertaining life and with my channel's life i love each and every single one of you and i will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>